Hello everyone. In this video, we will be focusing on how to make a thematic map using Mapbox. So, this is an example of a thematic map. It's the book Atlas of the Functional City. So, we are going to make a similar one using Mapbox. So, let's go to the Mapbox web page and go create a new style. Let's choose a monochromatic style for now. So if you look at the atlas of the functional city, they have used different kind of patterns to fill in different information. So, so first let's go to source and take some land use data from Mapbox Street V8. Let's apply some different first list apply the water layer so let's apply the water and give a blue color for now next let's add some land use uh, first let's create a filter and choose some green spaces which will include yeah, parks just agriculture etc and let's give it green color then let's create a new layer and insert some other uses like commercial area industrial etc to one layer let's give it another color and let's add one more yeah, maybe schools and other facilities maybe yeah so let's so yeah we have added like four different layers to it so let's see how we can apply some patterns to these layers like atlas of the functional city So when we click on each layer there are customizable options such such as colors, uh, patterns, strokes etc. So let's choose a pattern from that and see what it looks like. So let's choose a dot pattern. So these are like what's available in Mapbox and these are all the presets. So what can we do more so let's click on add or remove images so let's in that there's an option to upload image so mapbox supports svg file as pattern so we can upload some svg file from our so for this case let's create a custom SVG file in Illustrator. So let's open Illustrator and create a new document. Make sure the width and height is small. So here uh, we are giving it as 10 pixels. This is mainly because Mapbox doesn't take larger SVG files. So after opening, let's create a random pattern of yeah, I'll just draw a circle and maybe fill it with some color. You can create any kind of patterns of your choice or any theme you're referring to. So here I'm just creating a random icon. And after creating your design just save it as an SVG file make sure the profile is in SVG 1.1 and click the link option and later the CSG properties as presentation attributes and finally click OK let's go back to Mapbox and upload our SVG files I had created some more SVG files, so I'll just select all and click upload. So 
so now we can see all the custom icons we have made in the custom tab now let's start applying each of these patterns to our desired land use layers After applying all the SVG files, make sure you click refresh on your browser so that it loads up. Yeah, this is how it's gonna appear like. So later you can change your SVG files if required. Yeah, so this is how we make a thematic map using custom SVG files using an illustrator in Mapbox. Thanks for watching the video.